In the world of artificial intelligence, bigger has always been better. But now Microsoft has flipped that idea upside down. With just 64 GPUs and one week of training, they've built a math-focused AI that outperforms models hundreds of times larger. And that's not all. They've also launched powerful new voice and language models that could change how we use AI every single day. Breaking the bigger is better myth. Not long ago, the biggest names in tech believed the only way forward in AI was to make models larger and larger. More parameters, more training data, more computing power. Models like GPT-4 and DeepSeek R1 show off hundreds of billions of parameters, running on vast server farms that consume enormous amounts of electricity. The logic seems simple. If a bigger brain means smarter humans, then a bigger model must mean smarter AI. And to some degree, that was true. These giant systems could solve problems, generate essays, write code, and even hold conversations that felt human. But the costs were massive. Training one of these behemoths could take millions of dollars in cloud computing and thousands of the most powerful chips. And even after training, they needed expensive hardware just to operate smoothly. That's why what Microsoft just did is so unexpected. Instead of going bigger, they went smaller, but smarter. Their new R-Star 2 agent is a compact model designed mainly for solving math problems. It has far fewer parameters than giants like DeepSeek, yet it managed to beat them on some of the hardest reasoning tests. How R-Star 2 thinks differently. So how does a smaller model outperform a system that's hundreds of times its size? The secret lies in how it thinks. Most large language models use something called chain of thought. This means they try to solve a problem by writing out step-by-step -step reasoning, almost like showing their work in math class. The idea is that if the model explains each step, it will be less likely to make a mistake. But there's a flaw. If the model makes an error in the very first step, that mistake carries forward and the whole answer falls apart. It's like trying to solve a long equation with one wrong number. You'll end up with the wrong result, no matter how carefully you keep going. Microsoft's team looked at this and asked, what if the model could check its own work along the way? That's when they created R-Star 2. Unlike normal models that only generate text, R-Star 2 can actually use tools during its reasoning. Imagine giving an AI not just a brain, but also a calculator, a scratch pad, and a way to run real code while it thinks. When R-Star 2 faces a tricky math problem, it doesn't just get. It can pause, write a small Python program, run it, see the results, and then adjust its reasoning. If it spots a mistake, it corrects itself and tries again. This back and forth process makes it far more reliable than simply writing a long answer and hoping it's right. Building the infrastructure. Teaching a model like R-Star 2 isn't simple. Every time it tries to solve a problem, it may need to run thousands of little code snippets in real time. That puts huge pressure on the hardware. If handled poorly, the graphics cards, the GPUs, just sit there waiting, wasting energy and slowing everything down. To fix this, Microsoft designed a distributed code execution system that can handle nearly 45,000 tool calls at the same time, all with a response time under a second. They also separated the code running environment from the main training system. This way, the AI can run Python safely without crashing the whole model while keeping the GPUs busy and efficient. On top of that, they built something called dynamic rollout scheduling. Instead of giving every GPU the same fixed job, the system checks which ones are free at that moment and spreads the work evenly. No chip is left idle while others are overloaded. The result? R-Star 2 was trained to frontier level strength in only one week using 64 AMD MI 300X GPUs, a tiny fraction of the resources normally needed for such a powerful model. Hardware is one side of the story. The other side is how you actually train the AI. In traditional reinforcement learning, models get a reward when they reach the right final answer even if the path they took was messy or full of wrong steps. That can encourage bad habits, like guessing wildly until something sticks. Microsoft's researchers wanted a cleaner approach. They developed a method called Group Relative Policy Optimization with Resampling, or GRPO. Instead of rewarding every answer, GRPO oversamples the first attempts, filters out the messy ones, and gives more credit to solutions where the model reasoned clearly and used its tools effectively. This way, the AI still learns from mistakes, it sees the failed path, but it's pushed to value accuracy and efficiency. Over time, the model starts to think in a more organized way. The payoff was 
dramatic. On a tough math test called M24, R star 2 scored 80.6% and on AM25, it hit nearly 70% accuracy. That's higher than some of the largest models in existence like DeepSeek R1, which uses an enormous 671 billion parameters. And remember, R star 2 did this while using fewer reasoning steps, about 10,000 tokens on average, compared to more than 17,000 for others. A new kind of reasoning. The most fascinating part wasn't just the scores, it was how R star 2 solved problem. Researchers noticed the model developing what they called reflection token. These appear when the AI pauses after running some code, looks at the results, and then thinks about whether it made a mistake. Instead of blindly continuing down a wrong path, it reflects and corrects itself. This is very different from the old chain of thought method. It shows the model isn't only reasoning inward, it's also reacting to the world around it. By learning from its own tool outputs, it becomes more flexible, more adaptable, and closer to how humans reason through trial and error. My voice one, talking at lightning speed. While R star 2 was making headlines in math, Microsoft had another surprise ready. They introduced MAI Voice One, a brand new speech generation model. Most AI voices today sound decent, but they often take time to process and many need huge server setups to work well. My Voice One is different. It can create a full one minute clip of natural human sounding audio in under one second. And here's the kicker, it only needs a single GPU to do it. That makes it far cheaper and much more practical. Imagine using a virtual assistant that talks back instantly, without awkward pauses, or having your phone read long articles to you in a realistic voice while you're on the move. This model is built with a transformer architecture, trained on a massive multilingual dataset. That means it isn't limited to just one language or accent. It can create voices in many different tongues and even handle conversations between multiple speakers in the same audio. Microsoft has already started weaving it into Copilot, their AI assistant. So some of the news updates or summaries people hear are generated by this system. They've also added it to Copilot Labs, letting anyone try turning text into stories or guided audio in real time. M-A-I-1, Microsoft's own foundation model, but Microsoft didn't stop with voice. They also launched M-A-I-1, their very first in-house foundation language model. For years, Microsoft relied heavily on partners like OpenAI, but with M-A-I-1, they're stepping onto the stage with their own giant. This model was trained on an incredible scale, using around 15,000 NVIDIA H100 GPU, some of the most advanced chips in the world. That's a huge investment, both in money and energy. But Microsoft's focus with MAI-1 isn't just about being the biggest or the flashiest. Instead, they built it to be highly skilled at instruction following and everyday conversation. Think about all the small but constant tasks we use AI for, writing emails, summarizing documents, helping with homework, or drafting presentation. MAI-1 is tuned for these daily needs. It doesn't just chase high scores on academic benchmarks, it's meant to be a dependable helper you can use in real life. Right now, you can find the MAI-1 preview on Microsoft's Elmar Arena platform, where it's compared side by side with other leading models. And slowly, Microsoft is rolling it out inside Copilot, starting with text tasks like answering questions and summarizing content. They're using using real user feedback to make it smarter and more reliable before opening it up on a larger scale. Microsoft's latest projects are more than technical achievement. They're a sign that the rules of AI are changing. Size still matters, but now efficiency, adaptability, and real-world usefulness matter even more. So here's the question. If small models can now outperform the giants, what will the next generation of AI look like? Could we soon carry world-class reasoning and lifelike voices in our pockets? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to like the video, drop a comment with your thoughts, and subscribe for more deep dives into the future of technology.